Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for Revit I will show you how to create corner mullion for curtain walls and I will also show you how to create corner without mullion where the connection is just glass on glass. So I've opened my starting file with just one part of the curtain wall and I will open my level plan. This is the curtain wall, the storefront and I will create uh, the second one here and you can see that there's kind of a column or part of the wall remaining here I could move the curtain wall like this but then it uh, then it uh, doesn't connect with the other one and if I want to if I want to connect them like this like so this end of the wall still ends here so first we have to get rid of this end of the wall and we'll do it by going to the architecture and using the wall opening tool and I will select the wall, select the start place and select where it ends. Now hit escape. Now I will adjust the opening like so, so that it ends up and it creates the opening where the column was. But when I look into my 3D, the height of the opening is not the same as the height of the curtain wall. So I have to select the opening and I know the height of the curtain wall is 2200. So I will uh, make it uh, so that it's not top constrained. I will unconstrain it at the top and type in the unconnected height 2200 so that the opening is is here you can select the opening even though it's not visible if you hover mouse over here you can then select the opening and adjust it but this part of the opening doesn't matter where it ends because uh, the storefront the curtain wall is also creating its own opening now i've got this unpleasant corner here which i have to adjust so I will just open both of my views. So this is the 3D view, this is the plan view. And first I will select this mullion and unpin it and delete one of these two mullions. Then I select the second mullion, unpin it so I can change the type. And here I can change the type and I've got some options for and I'm looking for corner mullions. Some of the mullions are corner, you see quad corner, L corner. So if I select quad corner, you can see that I've got nice corner mullion uh, as I would want it to be. You've got also some other options, so if I select uh, trapezoid mullion, it's uh, kind of like this. And if I select uh, L-shaped mullion, it's, it's a mullion like the shape is like this. But let's say I want the, the square footprint mullion, but I don't want to be it as massive as this quad mullion is. I want to be the, the mullion a bit thinner. How do I do that? First, I have to create new quad mullion. So I will select this one that I already have. And so that I don't have to search for it in the project browser, I will right click and choose find in project browser. And it found this mullion, the quad mullion one. I will right click it and duplicate and name it quad mullion thin and now we have to set up the quad mullion thin so I will right click it select type properties and here at the bottom you've got depth 1 and depth 2 and instead of 150 I will select 75 and 75 I'll select OK nothing has changed here because this mullion is still the quad mullion one and now I can change it to quad mullion thin and yeah let's uh yep let's change it let's edit the type and change the depth and width to 100 so that it lines up with the class I will show later how to adjust the class 
So in plan view it still looks funky. You can see that these bottom parts are kind of, uh, you know, not placed nicely here. So how do we fix this? I want these horizontal mullions to be connected up to the end. And how do I do that? I do that by selecting the horizontal mullion. If you cannot select it, you can hit tab several times and then select it. And here you should see, you can also see it in the 2D view, in the plan view. You should see this sign and if you click it, it makes the mullion go uh, under, under the vertical mullion. We will do the same with this horizontal mullion. Click it, and now you can see that it's connected, that it's connected properly, and it looks nice. We have to do the same here at the top. So again, I will select this one, make it connect to the end, make it connect to the end. So now the frame of the curtain wall uh, is is. Uh, properly adjusted to the thin vertical mullion. So now, what if I wanted to have the connection of only glass at the corner, so glass on glass, without any mullion. So if I select the mullion and delete it, you can see that the mullion is away, but there's this space between the glasses. Uh, this is caused because the glass in this uh, star front is offset from the from the center from the axis of the curtain wall so we have to change the alignment of the of the glass this might not be always practical but i don't know any other way how to achieve so that the glass there's no space between the glass panes so we have to select the whole curtain wall and oops sorry not the curtain wall but the glass panel and we will go to edit type and here in the type of the panel the offset is set to 37 and we will change it to zero and now all of the glass panes have moved so they are uh, aligned with the axis of the of the storefront of the curtain wall you can see that now here there's kind of a weird detail if you didn't want to have this detail you can again select the one of the glass panes edit type the thickness of the glass is 25 so half of the this 12.5 i will select ok so now it's like this so then there's this space so maybe it would be better if we changed it to minus 12.5. And now the glass panes are overlapping here. But I think this is the cleanest detail that, that you can achieve uh, with, with this technique. You could then adjust this detail with some detail items. But this is good enough for me. So I will leave it as it is. So this is it for the curtain wall corner mullion. If this video was helpful, hit the like button and take care.